How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called Hamming Distance. Hamming Distance is a problem on leak code that's commonly asked by Adobe, Uber, and Facebook. The problem description says the Hamming Distance between two integers is the number of positions at which the corresponding bits are different. Given two integers x and y, calculate the Hamming Distance. And as a note, it just tells us that x and y are definitely within our integer range. And as an example, if x is 1 and y is 4, we're going to return 2 because there are two different places in the binary of x and y the bits are not the same. And so here it just tells us the above arrows point to the positions where the corresponding bits are different. So what we really want to do is evaluate the binary of two numbers and determine where the binary uh, representations are different, right? And just count the number of times that they're different. So this sounds like a really good chance to use the XOR bitwise operation, which is basically if the two bits that we're dealing with are ones, it's going to return a zero. Otherwise, if they're different, it's going to return a one. So if they're both zeros, it returns zero. If they're both ones, it returns zero. Or if one of them is one and zero, or zero and one, it will return one. So it'll only give us back a one when they're different. So what we can do is we can have a count called result, set it to zero, and we could just have a while loop that goes through the two numbers. So while x is greater than zero, Oops, well, x is greater than 0 or y is greater than 0. We want to say result plus equals, and then we want to access the last bit of x and the last bit of y. So we can say x mod 2, which is just going to check. In reality, it's going to check whether or not the value of x is positive. I'm sorry, not positive or negative. It's going to check whether or not it's even or odd. And so if a number is odd, its binary, its last digit in binary will be a 1, and if it's even, its last digit in binary will be a 0. So x mod 2 will give us the last bit in x, and we're going to XOR that with the last digit in y. So again, this is the XOR operation. So if these two are the same, it's going to return 0, and if they're different, different, it'll return 1. So now once we check the last two bits, or sorry, last bit in x and last bit of y against each other. We just want to shift x and y so that we're going to deal with the new bit or the next last significant bit. So we'll shift x over by 1, which is really just dividing x by 2. So essentially it's just truncating or shifting away the last bit in x. And then we want to do the same thing for y. So that every iteration in this loop, we're basically going to be checking a different bit. And so after this loop, all we should have to do is return our result. So let's see if this works. Awesome, it does. So that's how you guys solve the Hamming distance problem on leak code. It's commonly asked by Uber, Facebook, and Adobe. So make sure you guys understand how to do this. If this was helpful, be sure to subscribe. I release a video every day trying to show you guys a new tech interview question that you guys might run into. If it was helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know. And I'll talk to you guys next time.